My first time getting high ever, I got high off a dab. What's with dab? The, the blowtorch and the oh, bomb. Oh, girl. And I drank absinthe for the first time that night. Talk about a death wish. <laughs> the way I was like, I was speaking Mandarin after that. <laughs> girl, I could, I could read hieroglyphics <laughs> when I was at that state. <laughs> Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Comment Section Show, starring me, your favorite, everybody knows me, who cares about me, on to the very, very special guest. It is my honor to introduce the one and only Monet Exchange. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God, you. I'm so excited. I'm you. so happy that I'm here. <laughs> I am obsessed with you. Same, bitch. You're so funny. Likewise. You're gorgeous. And you be dragging these hoes. I <laughs> live. I love it. Period, honestly. <laughs> I do my best. So good. It's You know what? It's a hard job, but someone's got to do it. And we're grateful that we have you too. <laughs> honestly. Yes. Period. Uh, but honestly, as, as like a drag superstar... Reading is in your guys' culture. It is. You Dragging, know, roasting, all of that. Yeah, it, it really is. Is It's it's ingrained into queer culture, especially yeah. drag and, um, yeah. and the warm scene. And honestly, I love it. it. It has given me very thick skin. But also Same. my family. That's like that's kind of how my family is. Like yeah. We are constantly like making little jokes at each other. Yeah. We are really close group core friends yeah we like we like read each other all the time too so it just really just prepares you to just like whatever you have to say in the comments girl i've heard it 10 times before and doesn't by matter people who make more money than you and look better than <laughs> you so and bleh. boy that's gotta sting <laughs> <laughs> i say that too about when people ask me like oh like how did you start doing this like a lot of times they attribute it to like oh you probably got broken up with or you know whatever i'm like no my mom's just mean as <laughs> like that's really what it is down which is funny and she's my bestie you know what i mean that girl's no, my twin <laughs> i feel that like my i have i have an immigrant mom mother who mm -hmm. does not take any she does not she does not spare any punches i hear Same. the real rip every time she opens her mouth Same. so it's like and that's like i feel mm -hmm. like lots of minority families have that in common yeah because we all like grow up like roast razzing each other it's like all in good fun like yeah. we all make fun of yeah, each yeah. other and we love on each other at the same time but i always say but, like, if you're going to tell a joke, you got to learn to take a joke. Absolutely. That's the art of telling jokes in general. 1,000%. I think it makes you funnier. Yeah. And the, the the thing that always gags me is that when someone is in the comment and they try to roast you, and then you clap back at them and be like, no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm like, are you? You, you just try to come for me, oh, my grandmother, really? my nephew, <laughs> my sister. But 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 now but now you're just, you're just playing. You're like, I'm, I'm going to make sure you're not a fan anymore. <laughs> you know after what I this? mean? Let's see if you're still a fan after this. <laughs> and I don't always clap back. I, sometimes... I really, I, I let it slide, but oftentimes yeah. I do find myself clickety clacking and then, you know, <laughs> getting, getting down and dirty. The only people I kind of let slide just a tiny bit, but not really is just women, women. in general yeah. or other people that I feel like I feel driven to protect. Yeah. Mostly because I'm like, that's the patriarchy. They want me to attack you because they want us to turn against each other. Yeah. And I won't, but I also can't save every bitch. <laughs> so you're on your own, soldier. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's what I think. I'm like, you're on your own, ho. You sure. You I cannot save be. everybody. That I, is, you can't. Right. You can't. You, and can't. sometimes the call's coming from inside the house. Uh-huh. You, uh -huh. go, you go ahead and you answer it. I'm going to be over here. <laughs> but I, I, men... I'll make all the time. Oh. Clear my schedule. And you know what it is? And again, I again, I'm such a big <laughs> fan of yours because you're just so <laughs> smart, Thank and the you. way that you just dissect and like you, <laughs> you gather them like pony girls. You are getting the, you are pushing that ponytail. You are gathering that ponytail and snatch. <laughs> So smart, so good. Sometimes I think too, like because obviously I've watched your stand up too, which is so funny. It's just unbelievably funny, and I also think it, there's like an art in like very specific ways of making fun of people. Because I know you read people in the audience sometimes, yeah, which is always fun, <laughs> especially if they're good sports. If yeah, they're good sports, sure. it's always fun. Um, if they're not, it's even funner. Yeah, you for know, sure. absolutely. <laughs> which is always. Have you yeah. ever had like someone get kind of mad i have we did a um I, I did a show in pittsburgh at the pittsburgh improv and there yeah. was this there's this one gentleman in the front it, it, sometimes when you like you're doing a show the entire room is going up and there's this one person just kind of just like not engaging just like refusing you, to laugh just refusing to laugh and i was like girl why are you here did, <laughs> did, did you get these, these tickets on groupon bitch like <laughs> Are you are you just upset that you were at this show? And he was like, Yeah, well, my girlfriend brought me on here. I was like, You know, she should have kept your ass at home. But you're not. And so I didn't like go in on him. Because, yeah. But then he ended up coming. It's it's always nice to win the audience member back over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Someone who's like who's like not trying to engage, and then they just can't help but getting on the fun because you're 
good at what you do. Yeah. And that always feels even better to me. Yeah. To read them a little bit, but enough to make them still want to join. To kind of like laugh a little. Yeah, laugh a little bit. I know. Sometimes when I, well, I mean, the men that I make fun of are just awful in general. But like, sometimes I'm like, I know I got you a little. Mm -hmm. You you laughed a little. Come (laughs) on. Be honest. (laughs) (laughs) I called someone recently an adult magician. I was like, you do like magic like sleight of hand on the las vegas boulevard <laughs> he didn't laugh i said i got you a little just a little come on because we, because we all know that guy come we on. all know that guy girl we all know that guy <laughs> well i think you should you should do stand-up I, you are oh, very funny and i thank you see because i'm i'm, I'm kind of like you where before i like did stand-up i did drag yeah i, I was doing like you know Six shows a week in New York City. Oh my God! I'm um, hosting, and New York City drag is a little different than other places because in New York, um, whereas in a lot of places like LA and mm-hmm. Chicago and other places, it's like one queen is the host, and you have like six girls coming up and do a number, go away, go do a number, go away. Yeah. In New York, it's different. It's like one girl. It was me on stage for two hours and to two hours, two hours, six and nights a week. You know what I mean? Oh my well, six, God! Six shows a week. I would do oh, um, six every shows. Um, Monday through Friday, um, and then two. No, it's seven shows. Monday through Friday, then two shows on Saturday. Okay, so more break. than what you told yeah, me originally. More. Okay. But like so it was it was me on stage entertaining a room of drunk uh, uh gay dudes uh and you know so it was and I bachelorette really parties. You, bachelorette parties like it's my birthday. Shut up, Rebecca. <laughs> I know it's your birthday. Jesus Christ. We're 10 minutes into the show, girl. Give me some time. <laughs> and then so, like, I really... So, I, back then, I was doing stand-up, but I wasn't calling it stand-up. Yeah. So, when I was talking to my agent and stuff, he's like, you know, you should try your hand at stand-up. I was like, I don't think I can do stand-up. He's like, Monet, I've seen your shows. Like, you you are doing stand-up. You're just Literally like stand-up. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, I just sat, and I wrote some jokes, and I got a full hour done, and I... And I uh, I did some some dates in Bray and different cities, and then I recorded my first special with yeah. the Tribeca Film Festival, and that's oh coming out God. next summer. No way! Yeah, Congratulations! Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank oh my you. God, that's so awesome. Yeah. That's why I've talked about stand up is literally an art form. Yeah. So I was like, there, there's like a whole science to like studying it. There's like, essentially, it's choreography. You're like yeah. you're choreographing an entire routine, mm-hmm. and then you have to memorize the whole thing. Yeah. And, that's the part that makes me kind of nervy, but I also like I'm I know I'm no proud bitch. Like I I'm funny, but not every funny bitch can be a stand up comedian. This is true, which this is the problem. Too. Ask every white dude ever that's on stand up <laughs> 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 from the internet. Like some of them really think like, should I like quit my day job? Like, <laughs> it's like Mark, like, I don't think you should. <laughs> yeah, like the dudes who make fun of me, like the, a lot of they just call me a fat ugly bitch, and they're like, honestly, someone get Lauren Michaels on the phone. <laughs> I think it's time, guys. It's time. Put him on SNL. It's time <laughs> tell the Valvoline I give my two weeks <laughs> I don't need to be here anymore I don't need to work at AutoZone anymore Auto I got it <laughs> you see they this, did. Is, this you if girl you have like a two hour special <laughs> it, with, with all your material I'm telling you I'm trying you know what I'll think about it that, that's right. a vote of confidence from a pro <laughs> yeah I for love sure that. here's the thing because like I you know some, some of my really good friends like Bianca Del Rio and Bob yeah. they do stand up yeah. and, um, and you know so Bob and I we have our show Simon Rivalry our yeah. tour when it's us on stage and we have like eight dancers and we have like the lights and we have the whole crew girl stand up it is you a microphone and a stool yeah. okay <laughs> there's no overhead and it's all reward it's just you and and like the satisfaction of getting a room full of people to like laugh at these stupid jokes that you thought of and that yeah. you like it, 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 it just feels so good it, really it must does. be it, like uh, that's how i think you know you're truly funny if you could like write a whole set and yeah. have everybody in the room laughing, yeah, I think that like sometimes like I- I'm assuming you're the funny friend too. I, like I, you, you crack jokes. Everybody's I do. like, you're like Monet. Tell me a story. Sometimes I'll have people be like, No, Drew has the funniest story. So sometimes I'll tell stories. Do you ever have jokes that you like? You save for like certain people. Oh, for sure. Because you're like, this is gonna bring gonna the house hit. down. Yeah. This is gonna hit so hard. <laughs> and there are some stories I've learned over time. I'm like, okay, wrong audience, <laughs> wrong audience. I'm like, <laughs> there are certain like, if I'm in a room of white people, I'm like, I can't tell that story. <laughs> they won't laugh. They will not get they it. They won't get they it. They will not get it. Facts. One hundred percent. Literally on this show, like I, a while ago, I told like a story about how like my dog almost died once. He didn't. He died actually twice, but he came back to life. (laughs) So we started calling him like Jon Snow. Like every time he came back, he was a different person. I think he could see spirits. That's besides the point. (laughs) But he, he, I would told that story once of like the day he first died and Uh my mom brought him back to life. I told that to my boyfriend's family who's like, they're like white. Like that side of his family is white. Uh And like I told them that story at like the first lunch I ever had with them. Drew, not the first one. Because, well, typically that story kills. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell the dog story. 
<laughs> so like I'm telling it, and you know when you feel the room kind of being like shrink the room. Yeah, like, they're kind of mm. nobody's laughing. <laughs> And then you're like, and then he lived. Anyways, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive now. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then that happens to me. I just start adding like things that are not true. I was like, well, maybe if I just <laughs> pump in this detail. You start exaggerating. You know, just, just it, it becomes the most exaggerated version of the story. <laughs> and if I get just at least one laugh or a smirk, I'm like, well, you did something. Girl. Yeah, you know you what? I'm going to take my wins. You know what I mean? I'm going to take that. That's on me. Uh -huh. I, that, when I went home, I was like, that's on me. Yeah. Your mom loves dogs. I shouldn't have told a story about that dogs. <laughs> but I didn't. I thought she might laugh. <laughs> I thought we were all. So what? So what did your boyfriend say? He's heard the story, so he laughed. Okay, got it. Because he's he's brown, uh -huh. and I'm brown, uh -huh. so we both kiki laughed. <laughs> uh, at the table, he left me high and dry. Oh, wasn't laughing. Oh, really? I was like, okay, bitch. Now you don't think it's funny? Because when I told this story with my family, you were laughing. <laughs> yes, you was. You was high. <laughs> yeah. And, and all now, of a sudden, now it ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden. All of a sudden, <laughs> I think too. Like there are certain jokes that I tell, and I I feel like when you get a big laugh, you're like, yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, it got it. Very, very rewarding. <laughs> and you know, and 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 also, I love, 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 love a good. In, in my stand up, a lot of it is storytelling too. Yeah. So I just love telling stories, like a story of me, like being like, um, getting. I do like a whole bit about the the, the first time I fisted someone. <laughs> And it's um, a very compelling story, and the audience really- You have me hooked already. <laughs> to see the <laughs> audience sitting there, and everyone just like, no, no! <laughs> and so it's, that's a good one. I tell a story about me getting, so I got into marijuana, mm -hmm. like, I guess for for our generation late in life, like in my late 20s, in my yeah. early 20s. Same. Do you too? My first time ever, yeah. Yeah. yeah so like I, I got into that and then the first time I did it, I did, I did edibles. I made firecrackers. Oh my God. Yeah. And if you don't know what firecrackers are, look it up. I don't know if we can say this on, on camera. I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> uh, but we made firecrackers and then I, I ended up getting high for like, not kidding, 48 hours. I was high for two days and oh I just God. started a new job and I went to my new job. It was... A Were you on Jupiter the whole time? Girl, yeah. Jupiter. Bitch, I was in another dimension, okay? <laughs> I was in the upside play. down, okay? <laughs> like the upside down Hello. with Vecna. Girl, Demi Gorgons and everything. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, but. My first time getting high ever, I got high off a dab. What's with dab? The, the blowtorch and the oh, bomb. Oh, girl. And I drank absinthe for the first time that night. Talk about a death wish. <laughs> the way I was like, I was speaking Mandarin after that. <laughs> Girl, I could I could read hieroglyphics when I was at that state. I remember doing it, and I was like, oh, that's a problem. You know, as soon as you hit it, you're like, I'm going to have to deal with that. That's going to be an issue uh -huh. for me mm -hmm. in about five minutes. And I remember the room. I got the spins really bad because oh, yeah. you're crossfaded. And I remember, like, I was crying, but, like, I also felt like I was made of jelly. So I was like, I can't sit on anything because I'm made of jelly. That's, like, what I was thinking <laughs> in my head. And my friend was trying to rub my back. She's like, it's okay. Like, trying to calm me down. I was like, I love you so much, but please stop touching me. Don't touch me, girl. I'm made of jelly, and you're going to make the room <laughs> jelly, right? <laughs> so I literally fell asleep. I slept for, like, 14 hours. Oh, my God. Crazy, crazy, I had no crazy. relief. I had to work all week. So I was just, girl, it was a mess. That was, was when I was in college. in college. My prime thoughty phase. Ooh. When I was a city girl. You see, in college. College, I was still semi closeted, so I was I was mm. afraid. So I was I was a hoe, but in secret. Okay, so no, <laughs> cause, yes, because that's back when Craigslist was still popping. So I was oh. a, I, I, I was a hoe at night, not a hoe during the day. You're a lady of the night. I was a lady of the night for <laughs> sure, girl. Uh -huh, hopping in the auto, and you know I wasn't a classy hoe. Yeah. You know most hoes go for like you know the dude has like a Dodge Charger back then, yeah. or you know uh, I was Jeep I was, Cherokee. A Jeep Cherokee. Yeah. I was more of a Honda Civic girl, oh. or um. A Ford uh, uh, or, or Nissan Maxima. <laughs> a Maxinista, as I called myself back then. A Maxinista. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, my Hofies. I went to college. Where'd you go to college at? I went to Westminster Choir College in Jersey. Ooh. A tiny, tiny school. Are you college. from the East Coast? Yeah, I'm from, I'm from New York City in Brooklyn. Oh, no mm -hmm. way. I just, I've lived there for a year and a half. Love it. Love LA. <laughs> love, love, love. Are you from? Are you from? I'm from Southern California. From Southern California. Yeah, I'm from like. Uh, Riverside County area. Love. I mean, what was I doing all the past um, 30 years of my life? What, why, why? Did you just, oh, you just recently moved yeah, out here? Yeah, a year and a half. Oh. Love it. Yeah. Love it. I'm not, okay. 
a lot of East Coast people hate when I say this. I, New York is growing on me. I uh-huh. will say that, but I didn't like it for a while. But a lot of people think I'm from New York. I think it's because I'm mean. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm a mean bitch. So I don't think you're mean. Here's the thing, though. I'm confrontational. You're and you're direct. Yeah. You because New Yorkers, we are direct, rude, mean, nasty people. But if you are carrying a stroller up a flight of stairs, we will help you. Yeah, exactly. Okay? If you have some gum on your on, on your or some tissue on, in the sub on, on the thing, we gonna girl, you got some tissue on the thing. Now don't look at me. Don't talk to me ever again. <laughs> you, got little, you got a little tissue on your shoe. It's double-sided. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, it's used for good and bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, New Yorkers are mean, but we are also very nice and helpful people. Oh, I love that. And you went to college in Jersey. In Jersey, yeah. How'd you yeah. like that? It was good. Jersey was very informative for me. I learned how to drive in New Jersey. You you didn't drive till college? No, because in New York we had the subway. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't yeah. drive to college. Yeah, and you know it definitely. Um, I thought it prepared me for driving in California, but baby, these California drivers, it's y'all different. are on something else. Everybody's on absinthe. <laughs> Everybody's crossfaded, girl. Everyone's doing dabs. And do not let a, a speck of rain fall out the sky. All the people way. are on the one on one driving at two miles an hour. I'm like, girl, it is a little rain. It is a little precipitation. They can't handle they can't rain handle or cold it. weather. Anything. I can't either. And I went to college in. Hawaii. So like, because I hate cold weather. Well, I'll say this: I'd rather be hot than cold, even though I'm a sweaty bitch, uh-huh. which makes no sense. Okay, I am the my sister's here can, can attest. I am the sweatiest bitch in the game. Look, you ain't seen sweat until you see me up in drag, girl. <laughs> which you, I me I, I have I have, a, I have a big thought. Just I am just sweating. Okay. Same. I have a theory that if I shave my head bald, I would never sweat again. But I'm not willing to test it because my test head it. is ginormous but I, I don't think it would be a look for me but i i grew i grew up here and then i went to college in hawaii Got it. so like my fear of like cold just worsened as i like lived out there and then moved back here again yeah like my sister went to school in oregon so she went oregon like, like the oregon like, like university Portland, of oregon. oregon oh university of oregon with mm-hmm. with the ducks yes Ooh, yes, yes. So I, she I, went there and i remember i visited her uh i think it was in like november yeah it was like cold it's it's cold outside, like in Oregon. So I'm, I remember texting her. I'm like, hey, is it cold there? Because she's going to pick me up from the airport. She's like, yeah. Um, she goes, I mean, it's like brisk. I'm not wearing jackets. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm wearing like light pants and like slippers and no jacket. No, girl. Bitch, tell me why it's like 30 degrees outside. Oh, yeah, outside. it gets cold. Yeah, yeah and, I, and I'm like, you told me it wasn't cold, you <laughs> liar. And she was like, it's not cold. I'm like, you ever get so cold you want to fight? I hate that feeling. I hate it. Like, I don't want to feel like that. Just, just out there fighting the wind like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just see me like winding up constantly outside. I don't like the thought of having to get gift cards, like my movie gift cards out of my wallet to scrape ice. Yeah. I don't want that Yeah, life. Yeah. Don't it's include not, me. It's, it's not great. Mm-mm. It's not great. I lived in Portland for for a little while. Oh, really? I lived there for two years when I sang with Portland Opera. I did, oh, yeah, like, I did some work with them. She wears yeah. many hats. Oh, so many hats. <laughs> not today because she ain't shaved her head. Girl, she's going to keep this one on. Um, but so, I and I love Portland. Great dick in Portland. Yeah. Love my time there. I yeah. definitely did a lot of research. Mm. Um, um but all the decolletage that was available to me. <laughs> you did a lot of research about that? Yeah. A lot I of did. recon? Yeah, a lot of recon. You're like a hands-on learner. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. very kinesthetic. I yeah. can't. So yeah, you're I like, I, to... I'm someone who needs to be in the field. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get in there, get my hands dirty. Like you're Hence just... the fisting story, you know? <laughs> I need to really explain. Like literally, things. like quite literally. <laughs> dirty? <laughs> You're doing a world tour? What, girl? <laughs> oh, girl, I have been around the world, and I, 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 yeah, girl, I have done a little research all over the world. It's very fun. It sounds like you've lived many lives. I've, I've lived many lives and worn many hats, true. I love that. Thank you. I love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so speaking of, but not really, speaking of your fisting story, uh-huh. which is part of your stand-up, uh-huh. today's topic for our show is going to be the art of stand-up, right? Okay, yeah. And I feel like, obviously, we talked a lot about, or we touched on it a little bit, your journey in comedy. Because you've been doing, you're like, have you? would you say you've always been a comedy queen? Yeah, I've definitely always been a comedy queen in my drag. Yeah. Um, and now I'm just adding the layer of like active stand-up to it over the past year. Yeah. So, for sure, definitely been a comedy queen. Yeah, so I think that you, even you too, well, you've been performing forever. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I agree with your agent or your manager, whoever said that you, you already do stand up. Yeah. That it's like you've been doing it for so long now. And I feel like comedy has really shifted. Sure. Right. Especially in stand up, like over the last like five, six years oh, alone. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Let I, alone decade. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean I mean just 
because of things, because we now have these computers in our hands, right, and, <laughs> and people can record whatever they want and put it online, we, we we're seeing more different types of comedy. Yeah. Because before comedy was, um, it felt to be very heavily handed in one, <laughs> in mm -hmm. one uh, place. Yeah. But now we're seeing a lot of other types of, of, of comedy and comedians blow up and seeing more women, more mm -hmm. people of color, and I love, 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 love it. Same. Yeah. And I think, too, like, it, it, it's like this constant discourse of they're like, oh, you're not allowed to say anything these days. And I'm like, well, if you're being racist, then yeah, you know probably I mean? not. But there's ways to be. I always think like if you have to be bigoted to be funny, you're not funny. You're not funny. Like at all. If, <laughs> if the crux, if, if that is the crux of your humor, if that's the only thing that you, like, girl, you're not funny. Yeah, like, and that's simply that on that. Yeah. Like, and I think that now that comedy has shifted so drastically but i think it's been a very slow burn mm -hmm. now like super old like comic whether they're comedy fans or just comics in general they're like oh like everybody only wants to see like liberal jokes or no. whatever the f they talk about i'm no. like maybe they just don't want to watch you say the n-word on stage when you're a white guy you know what i mean maybe they don't want you to want they don't want to watch you be a transphobe Maybe Sorry they just don't want to watch that. You know what I mean? And, and, and Maybe so it's not funny. It blows my mind when that's when that's that's all people take out of that. Is that yeah. oh, everything, everything, everything is just everyone we can't say anything anymore. Like that's what you extract that's what you extrapolated <laughs> from, from that, that 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 little kernel. Literally. Go off, girl. Well, and then I think too, like when when you factor in that conversation about it, like, cause my like I'm not a stand up person by any means. But like when I make fun of people, it's like silly shit that yeah. I say. Because it's funny. Like yeah. I'll drag the hell out of you without like being bigoted towards you. I'm just gonna make you feel really, really small. By stating facts. Yeah, because it's funny. Let's all laugh. <laughs> I thought you were I mean? having fun. Yeah. Cause these same dudes will will be like, You can't say anything nowadays. But then at the same time, if you factor in someone like me, they're like, Why would you do that to him? Why would you make fun of him? That's so mean, that's not funny. Thought you wanted to have fun. Are we not all having a good time? <laughs> you made joke. Yeah, because they always say it was just a joke. I'm like, so are mine. Yeah, I'm just joking too. One of us had much better jokes. <laughs> you don't believe me? Let's check tape. <laughs> let's check the stats. Roll babe. that beautiful bean footage, baby. <laughs> yeah, Roll like, it. Let's see who else. Like, because I don't know. Do you have a pretty large female audience or like yeah. a presenting audience? Yeah. So anytime you know I, when you are involved in social media, so that we do and influences, so you do get to like your demographic. And yeah. Stuff, so I am like I am. About fifty nine percent women and oh, wow. for men. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. The girls. Yeah. <laughs> the girls. The girls. The girls. Oh, they love us. <laughs> they, really, they really do. They really Mine's do. like ninety six four. I'm not even <laughs> kidding. Like I, I made a video about that once, I love and that. someone was like, "How do I do that?" Because I really hate having straight men on my page. I was like, "Oh, it's pretty simple, really. Um, you just make them." F hate you <laughs> nothing moves the needle quite like that <laughs> i love that when you make your whole branding about hurting their feelings turns out they don't want to follow you very mm. often and if they do they're good men gay men or trans men and that's and that's, that's what, and that's, that's what, my cream that's of the you crop mean. you know what i mean that's what we want <laughs> and they're welcome and valid here <laughs> okay so we're gonna be talking about the art of santa we're gonna talk about you and your comedy journey and also like how hard you've had to work in this industry and other minority people, marginalized people in general who want to be in the comedy space versus men, obviously. Yeah. Cause a lot of times I feel like, especially straight cis white dudes feel like they're like the comedy constable. I deem this funny or I deem this not funny. And like, they're the like least funny people on the planet. Yeah. Why, why, who made you the arbiter of good comedy and what is funny? Like who? Yeah. And it's always self-proclaimed and they think that they are, have, and they, they, uh, assign the golden rule of comedy. It's just, yeah. It, 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 to me sometimes, not sometimes, it's always so out of touch and it, it's just, it is it's nonsensical. Yeah. My friend Leo, who does comedy too, he was saying like, if you're a dude who like, like really, really laughs hard at like jackass i know i'm not gonna make you laugh <laughs> i can't get to you babe <laughs> i was like yeah if you're a big like getting hit in the balls fan not it's no. not gonna work yeah i will say drunkly one night i watched jackass 4.5 and it was terrible <laughs> And Horrible. that's the two. It was. I was like, no. It's just it can't go on forever. You know what it I mean? Can't. And I it's just like getting hurt. I mean, yeah. I guess prank. I mean, I just like I don't find pranks very funny. Yeah. That's not my cup of tea. Yeah. In ha my opinion. Have you ever been in a in a well? Um, have you ever been with a partner who? wanted to play pranks on you i could not be in that relationship no. it would not last absolutely not i no. would kill somebody <laughs> i don't think it's funny if i'm showering you throw cold water in the shower or, 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 or 
powder bomb. That's not funny. I'll burn the house down. Let's see if that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like shit like that. I don't that. like that either. It's not I don't thing. like I don't like like uh any sort of I mean, the one thing that my family does do sometimes and by my family I mean my mom. She likes to scare people. Mm-hmm. Like she'll hide. I'm not. When I tell you, she, this bitch will hide for like 30 minutes. <laughs> like she'll literally commitment. wait. I love that she'll though. It's wait. A commitment. She'll wait in the wings <laughs> till you like. Like she's like, oh, so worth it. <laughs> she's been in there for like an hour. I'm I like, girl, that. come on. I love that. The that's commitment. like silly shit like that. That's funny. <laughs> but like the shit where they would like, uh, like do these horrible pranks. Like you remember that trend on YouTube when oh, it was God. like, prank. I pranked my best friend that his mom died. What? That's what? not funny. You're deranged. That's insane. That you, that you need to. It's see, traumatizing. You know, uh, my podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and I would <laughs> I would I would direct them to BetterHelp slash Rivalry so that they can um you know <laughs> literally subscribe. yeah please seek help <laughs> like help. actually actually funny. okay so we're what we're gonna do today on the show for those of you that are new to the comment section what we do is we bring two videos here and we talk about them they're applicable to our topic we kiki laugh make all the jokes all that fun stuff so for this first video that we have mm-hmm. uh this is a stand-up clip um it's a comedian sashir zamata tells a story about a weird interaction she had in college where a student living down the hall from her kept asking if she knew certain people they went to school with and sashir realized that all of the people the girl was asking about were black people at their school sashir is obviously a black woman and the girl just assumed that (laughs) sashir would know them all and i'm like well haven't we all been there girl (laughs) girl So, Westminster Choir College that I went to, yeah, it was a very small um, sect of this university. So, okay. I, so we're we're not on the university campus. We're like we're about thirty minutes away, and um, it, our the whole school, the whole university, I mean, um, college was about seven hundred students. So that's oh, between wow. undergrad and graduate students. Oh, super so, tiny. Yeah, very small. So mm-hmm. I'm not kidding you. I they were maybe I think between all the undergrad classes, they were probably. 16 black kids out of total a total oh my god and i mean and people on campus would always assume that we always knew each other they were like oh so um uh how's how's squiggy doing i'm like who the hell is squiggy <laughs> Like squeaky, how squeaky, I'm like, who is that? I don't know who that is. You know what I mean? So they would always assume that we just always, that I, that I knew Squeaky wanted to go see his girl. It was crazy. They just assumed that I knew every part of everyone's life who was who was a person of color because we were all black. Yeah. Place. Yeah. When I went, I went to the University of Hawaii. So like, I'm, I'm someone. So I assumed when I go to Hawaii and I go to UH, I'm like, okay, I'm going to find my people. Mm-hmm. We're going to kiki, rally, have a good time. Uh-huh. Bitch, I've never seen more white people in my life. <laughs> when I went to that, when I went to that orientation, you would have thought I was on Huntington Beach Pier, babe. Damn, I was uh, in Laguna Niguel. Really? I was standing. I'm like, I was sitting. I was in like Hawaii? the. Yeah, like they. I swear to God, they're all like beach town kids from mm. like rich cities here in California. Got you. Or and then they go there for because they're like, oh, it'll be the same, and I'll be yeah. in Hawaii. And I, I was blown away. But sometimes they would do the same thing with me. Like they're like, oh. Are you on the volleyball team? And I'm like, no. Girl, I'm sitting next to you. There's a game right now. <laughs> no, I'm not on the volleyball team, bitch. But so I was like, look at, I mean, no. And they're like, oh, I guess I just assumed. Why? I love to ask people why. Yeah. See, I need to ask why more. Of? I should ask why more. You should. I should ask why. Just to make it so, not, you, you want to make it uncomfortable for me? Now it's your turn to be uncomfortable. Why? <laughs> <laughs> why is why what why would make you want to ask me that oh, uh-huh. well, i went to a party in college once and um me there was me and there was another one of my friends who happens to be black and he we, it was just the two of us minority people there uh-huh. everybody else was white uh-huh. so we're sitting there and we're having a good time talking and this guy comes over and he's trying to make conversation and he's like yeah he's like um hey so do you unprovoked uh-huh. we're not we we said intros that's it uh-huh. no talking <laughs> sitting there the guy goes so do you listen to a lot of hip-hop to my friend and then my friend goes no not really <laughs> and then he goes no you don't listen to drake drake is always the first one they think of. you don't listen to drake and then he goes i'm not really a big fan he goes what what you gotta listen to him do you listen to he starts listing all these rappers Everyone. uh uh, uh, Tupac. Yeah. uh, uh <laughs> jay-z uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> can i have a uh, uh, uh yeah, he's Nicki just Minaj like, for hundred. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's just like throwing out names, and then I couldn't take it anymore. My friend is too nice to say anything, so I was like, "Why do you keep asking him that? Why do you keep asking him only about stuff like that?" Uh-huh. And he was like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Are you a- are you asking him because he's black?" And then he was like, "What? 
what? The way he got that so response. offended. Oh, so no. So offended. What? And he goes, I'm from Ohio. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> he goes, do you know how many? He goes, I could literally count to you like on my hand how many black people I've met in my life. Oh, not that line. And then I go, and he goes, do you know how many that is? I go, I'm guessing not many considering you're keeping count. <laughs> you're like, also, one, two, three. Easily eight. <laughs> Easily eight. I'm like, I'm guessing not very many. I cannot. <laughs> because also, if you have lived your entire life and you have only and you only know eight black people and you're in college, that is a problem. And he wasn't even in college, he was a Marine. This man was So was you don't even go old. here. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, who invited you to this party? <laughs> Get out. Go oh, serve. This- <laughs> go serve. Go serve this country. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. Don't you have a war to go die in? You lived your entire life, and you can you can count on your on your two hands. That is not impressive. This I, is not a that's lot of I was like, I I think that you think that's a good thing that you're keeping count, and it's not. It's weird. Damn. It's weird. Very weird. <laughs> it's like yeah, that's weirdo behavior, but <sighs> honestly. So let's look at some of the comments on this mm-hmm. video about uh, Sashir's stand up. So this first one says, "If POC didn't have dark skin, they could never do comedy. Their entire routine always." focuses entirely on that it's a yawn fest yikers that comment is so bad whoa 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 wait can you read it one more time if poc didn't have dark skin they could never do comedy their entire routine always focuses entirely on that it's a yawn fest that is always where those type of people that's where they go immediately like oh well you only do well you only do jokes about race i'm like no i have literally done a whole set with 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 varying things but in the off chance that that is what my comedy is of yeah. that that is the base of my comedy yeah. so what that is because people of color have a very different experience yeah. to white people in this country yeah so it, you have to find the humor in it a to to sometimes live with it to cope with it yeah and you use it as a way to to and it's also healing sometimes as well you know right yeah so the fact that when they always jump to that well you only make jokes so what if i do and what yeah, so and yes. one of it also comedy pulls from life experience life experience that's your life experience yeah. what's the difference between that and like white male comedians that are like in their 50s talking about hating their wife that's their culture <laughs> that's that in <and> target <laughs> and autozone don't forget autozone yeah, and AutoZone AutoZone. Too. that's what i'm saying home depot lows i don't know you know what i mean yeah so, i'm like yeah. that's you what's the difference that's your culture right yeah You're talking, that's all the culture they have it's yeah really, come on it's now. just that it's always that thing well will you only joke about that yeah because i that that experience in in this country and yeah. in my life has shaped me a lot into who you are Girl, believe it or not that's why i'm so funny <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah you you know? Well, it's also like, especially in this, like the context of the jokes that she's telling where she just automatically assumes like that um, one black person knows every black person to exist in the world. Mm-hmm. That is funny. It is very funny. It's funny to think that someone would ever believe that because it's absurd. Yeah. That's what's funny about it. <laughs> like one time I went to my boyfriend and I were at a bar and we're it's like in the daytime. We're just having like drinks, whatever. Uh, this guy comes over and he's like, hey, like wants to make a conversation with us. Big white dude. Mm-hmm. And um, they love my boyfriend. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know if he Your has- boyfriend is very beautiful. Thank you. He has pheromones in his skin or something. <laughs> the way that older <laughs> white gentlemen specifically are like, huh, every time they see it's him. It's because he's so hot. Yeah. So, and like, <laughs> yes. they don't, and because it's, it's, it's going to be good, it's going to be, they, 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 they can't identify it as that. Yeah. Because your boyfriend is so beautiful, they're just drawn to him, but they don't want to name what it is. And yeah. Because he's very handsome man he's very attractive it's one of those things where the line is so thin like their obsession with nfl players or like basketball players Mm -hmm. it's like they can't tell if they want to be him or be on him you know what i mean yeah they can't tell if they want to be my boyfriend or me (laughs) you know what i mean (laughs) that's That's what it is they struggle with it internally yeah but he came up to us and he was like trying to joke around whatever and they always say my you know who you look like you look like aquaman which is like when that movie came out hell on earth oh god i'm sure the way that i was like i don't want to leave the house (laughs) <laughs> when I when this started happening, my boyfriend was like, "Thank God, because everyone's gonna look at you, and no one's gonna look at me. Thank God, like, because he hates being the center of attention." So he's talking to us, whatever, and he's like, "So where are you guys from?" And we're like, "Here," because we were in Anaheim, we're at Disneyland. Uh-huh. So I was like, "Well, we're from we're from here, Orange County," and he's like, "No, like, where are you from?" I hate those questions. So then when they do shit like that, I clock in. I've cleared You're my like, sc- clear. I've cleared my schedule. I'm not giving you the answer that you want. We're gonna be here all night, bitch. They're gonna be putting the stools on the bar by the time we're done. Cause then he's like, no, like where are you from? I'm like California. 
no, like, where are you from? Southern California. No, like, where are you from? Over and over and over again. Then he was like, well, no, your ancestors. Bitch, why don't you ask your ancestors? <laughs> <laughs> ask them. Oh, my God. <laughs> they know where I'm at. Hello. <laughs> they know They know what's up. They know so I need exactly. you to go, go in the closet, light a candle, and, 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 and seek some answers, and you will find out. <laughs> Do a seance and ask you them. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Get a no, Ouija board, babe. No, but where you from from? Girl. Yeah, I I bet you get that question. Oh, have yes. a million times. Yeah, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, but like, where are you from? <laughs> um, <laughs> Avenue D and 39th Street. But like, where are you like from from? Oh, um, Kings County General Hospital. <laughs> Where you from? It just goes on. You're, it it happens. Unless you buy like the fourth or fifth, they kind of get it, and then that's when I try. I, I, I try to give a little grace. Yeah. And by four, I got now. Now, now I got to come at you. Yeah, literally same. Yeah. That's why I, I mean? said I give you a little bit of room, and then mm -hmm. that's all you get from me. Yeah. And then I was like, if you're asking like, what race we are, we're someone. He's like, oh, that's crazy. I'm from Ohio, like uh, always Ohio. <laughs> and he's like, I was like, congratulations. And then he's like, yeah, like I never see people who look like you. You guys are so big. Are you guys, he's like, did you play in the NFL? I'm like, no, it's football season and we're here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm talking to you, bitch. I when, can't. Sometimes people like, oh, this is so funny and off topic, but not really. We used to go to this water park when I was a kid uh -huh. in like Anaheim, Wild Rivers. The girls that get it, get it. But anyways, we would go there. And one time we went, my whole family, like my dad too. And my dad is a big, big Samoan dude. Mm -hmm. So we had these cabanas. You know how you have people like, they're like waiters? Yeah. He comes over. He's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm such a big fan. I'm such a big fan. He's like geeking out. I think at this point I was like maybe 12. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, why is that guy freaking out? And he like was convinced my dad was this dude on the Chargers. Right? Like, like a player on the Chargers. <laughs> and he was like... He was like, oh, I'm such a big fan, dude. I'm such a big fan. Oh, my God. I've been a Chargers fan my whole life. Started telling him his, his whole story. And my dad's like, oh, no. Like, <laughs> he's going, no. Well, and my mom goes, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, he's so happy to meet you. <laughs> like, my mom starts lying because it's like, it's easier to go with it than to oh, yeah, for correct sure. it. Oh, yeah. So we looked up a picture of him. Bitch, show me why he looks nothing like my dad. My Not dad's bald. <laughs> my this dad is just... bald, bitch. <laughs> this guy had a full head of hair. He had a beard. He had everything. Looked nothing, nothing like, like my him. dad. Not even a little. Not even a little. And he was like, oh, my God, I'm such a big fan. I'm such a big fan. So my and my dad was like, okay, please don't tell anybody because it's not him. Yeah. And then he's like, at the end of the day, would you mind if I took a picture with you? And my mom was like, just do it. Who cares? Because it's like before like social media was huge. Right, huge. right, right. So She's like, like yeah. just do it. Who cares? It, it made his whole day. And then he'll leave us alone. Uh -huh. My dad goes, okay. He goes back there to go take a picture. There's a line. A line for me. A line. Thinks. And they're all taking pictures. And I'm like, I can't wait for someone to for someone to put that on Facebook and be like, guess who I met? And someone's like, that's not him. That's not him, girl. Because <laughs> it looks nothing like him. Oh like at God. all. Just another Samoan dude. <sighs> But Tragic. he just had to get just had, had to get to. his impulse picture, yeah. and no matter how much, how many times you say no, people all in drag they think I'm Jennifer Hudson. I'm like uh, <laughs> Jennifer Hudson with a thyroid problem. Okay, girl. <laughs> oh my god, Love people her. see me and they're like Bella Hadid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she's gonna be so mad at me. For that. <laughs> the man gonna be like, "You don't look like her, you fat bitch." Anyways, let's get back into these comments. I'm okay. obsessed with your nails. Sorry. Oh, thank you. This is so good. Christmas nails. So good. We love this next one. Says the fact that this joke made the cut, and there's probably many more that didn't make the cut or didn't, makes me firmly believe that women aren't funny. Some well, dude. His name's Jared, so he's got bigger problems. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wor worry about Subway Jared. Yeah, he's fighting an uphill battle already. <laughs> Hello. I'd be mad at Sashir, too. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes. I, honestly, and, and, do, does he have a profile picture? Oh, let me see. Did, Let's see, too. Did, did the one before have a profile picture? Cause I, no, I, the one before didn't. I'm, this I, one is yeah. like a, it's like a meme, so uh, you yeah. always know. I knew what that is. Yeah. It's like they're always afraid. <laughs> let, let, let me see what you got, brother. Yeah, I, same. Who are you? That's why I've, I said I, I've told people, I'm like, I dare you to post a picture of yourself. I dare you. I triple Please. dog dare you. If you're, if I told men before, if you're better looking than me, I'll run you a rack right now. <laughs> I'll deliver it to your house. Post a picture of you. Post I'll it. Pull I'll pull up. I'll pull up with the rack. But let me see DMs the picture. DMs are though. open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm constantly taking submissions. I told, I told someone, I'm like, if you're ugly, you can't call me ugly. Those are the rules. I don't Come make on. them. I just enforce them. <laughs> Is what it is. I, take it up with God. You know what I mean? I don't know why you look like He's that. He's the one that did that to you, not me. <laughs> yeah, 
Hello? <laughs> Hello? I don't know. Seek a higher power, babe. <laughs> this next comment says, uh, the laugh track is so obvious. No one's moving a muscle in the audience. I think men like that just take any opportunity to say women aren't funny. Yeah. Any at all. Well, you know, and I think there is, there is for some reason, there is a lot. Men like that are just so threatened by powerful women, funny women. Mm -hmm. and I was also, what was I watching recently when they were saying like a lot of women on first dates, they won't, um, not won't be funny, but they won't like try to crack jokes because that 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 threatens a lot of men. Like when like when they yeah. see like, a funny woman, and I, I don't, T. I don't understand. I I, I I don't get it either. Like I don't get it either, and I'm like laugh, make jokes. If not he, me. The minute I come out, I'm doing a I'm doing a bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm doing physical comedy. Like I'm doing sketch comedy. <laughs> the minute I come out, yeah, if out a the dude gates. is threatened by you being funny and you being. Mm. That guy. You don't want to be with that. You don't want no, to literally. possibly have to have bear this person's children. Absolutely <laughs> not. You don't want the little monster that you that you from him and you. Oh, no, dude. God help no. me if no, I was no, ever no. with someone who wasn't funny. Oh, I've you told have that, to be funny. I've told that story before too about like how my boyfriend like at one point my sister said he she didn't think he was funny and I was like listen, why don't you come get this knife out of my back while you're at it? Because I was thinking I was thinking to myself there's no way that you're gonna tell me that I'm with someone who's not funny. There's yeah. No way. I'd rather you call him ugly if we're being real. <laughs> I'd rather my mom be like that's the ugliest person I've ever seen in my life, but he's funny. He's funny. I'd rather have that. Yeah, and, I, I can see that. I'm and I, I literally told him I'm like you're gonna have to step it up a notch. <laughs> You're gonna have to keep up it in the up funny babe. Overdrive. When my, when next time you see my parents, I want you firing on all cylinders. I want you cracking jokes, bitch. I want you to tell the dead dog story. <laughs> I want you to. It tell hits the with my family. Story. I promise. It, it, they'll love it. <laughs> I'll reassure him. I'm like, don't worry. It hits. <laughs> I, I make him tank so then I can step in. Love that. I can I can recover for with him the, with the assist. There you go. So you just work in together. You know how you love that. <laughs> okay, let's get into this next video. Mm -hmm. So this next one. Is another another stand up clip um, of a comedian Kate Berlant. I love her performing so in front of a crowd and joking about how she believes a hundred percent that women should be allowed to shoplift makeup and cosmetics. I I feel that agree. Go pink tax, you know girl. What I, mean? <laughs> I, um, I was I saw a TikTok I was talking about how they they at these and I've never noticed it because I guess I'm just not cognizant of it. Yeah. But how they make big pens for women. I'm like, what is a pen for a woman? And it was the pen was just pink instead of the like with, with like a pink cap instead of a, a blue cap. And I was like, what? Like, why are we making? Which is a little off topic. Sorry, I didn't mean to go. But no, I'm like, you're fine. like boy, pens for women. Like what? Like that means like. And when you see a product like that, that means it hundreds like oh not hundreds maybe like fifty people had yeah. to approve. <laughs> This product, honestly, probably hundreds, hundreds yeah. to sell big pens for women. Like it's so crazy. And back to this, women should absolutely because again, it's probably a big group of men that's yeah. making all these products and deciding all of them. I'm like, you know what? For everything <laughs> that we have put women through in Period. this country, slash, are currently putting women through in this country, mm -hmm. take all the makeup for free. That's what I'm saying. Take all. I think monthly at ever what whether it be Hermes, the CVS. <laughs> Walgreens, whatever it is, women should be able to go and get at least uh, at least five hundred dollars worth of worth That's of products for free. And I'm not gonna snitch. monthly. I, yeah. I I simply do not see. Yeah. When you do I don't it, see. I'm gonna look the other way, but <laughs> it's like my friend Aaliyah, who was on my show recently, she was saying that uh, one of her most viral videos she ever made was she was like, "Women don't have flaws; they just have quirks. Men have red flags, but women don't." <laughs> Red flags and They're a lot of dudes quirks. out here. Hello, oh they are quirks. Gosh. We love, we love, we, we love, love that. a we quirky stand. girl. What's your son? I'm a Pisces. I love. Okay, controversial. Uh -huh. I love Pisces men. Yeah, because my dad's a Pisces. Your dad's a Pisces. Yeah, and and but the girls they don't do like, not Pisces. like Pisces men. Why is that? They well okay so I they're a water sign I know that mm -hmm. but I I feel like Pisces in general are very emotionally cognizant. When you give that power to a too sentient man, <laughs> he uses it for bad, for evil. <laughs> he utilizes it against you, manipulates you emotionally. I think that's why, like, one time I, I started, like, a war on Capricorns Ooh. because I was like, what's the worst sign that you know of and why is it Capricorn? And so a lot of people were saying Pisces men and Cancer men really are, like, God's sinful soldiers. Oh no! Like truly, okay, they're but, out here. But, but, but maybe straight dudes. Yeah, straight men. Gay Pisces were everything. <laughs> That's different. Yeah, we're it's very different. like it's like it has an asterisk next to it. <laughs> <A little> asterisk. <laughs> yeah. But if he gay, he cool. <laughs> 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 like my dad, my dad is a Pisces, and he's like he's really, really 
wonderful and amazing. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like, Pisces, man, that's really interesting to me. Yeah. Well, I'm also a cusp. I'm like right, because I'm, I'm uh, February 19th, so I'm right on the end of Aquarius, beginning of Pisces. So I'm oh, okay. kind of right in the middle of it. That helps you. Yeah. yeah. That helps you. I have a little quick. I've talked to, I even talked when Trixie was on, I like told her, because she's a Virgo. Mm -hmm. So like me, I'm a Virgo. Wow. So I was telling him, well, Virgo men are awful. <laughs> they came straight from that sewer bitch. Pennywise, he's a Virgo. Pennywise was, was a Virgo? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he probably was. <laughs> I'm characterizing him based off the fact that he eats children and he's awful. But I was literally thinking with Virgo men, I described it once as like, they're like the dude, the adult man that gets in line for the pinata. You know what I mean? <laughs> that guy. That guy's a Virgo. Like, he, the guy that, like, throws all the board game pieces at the wall when he loses. That guy's a Virgo. He's a Virgo. He's a Virgo, babe. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just feel it in my bones. <laughs> it's science. Who says astrology isn't real? <laughs> it's, it's a proven fact. Well, you know what? People say that, and I'm like, if the moon is powerful enough to control... The waves and the oceans mm -hmm. on the earth, like they, 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 the stuff of that, there has to be some correlation with us. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Has to be. I just talked about that too on my last episode. I we literally talked about how like it's just because it's loved primarily by women, that's why they demonize astrology. Mm -hmm. They're like, mm -hmm. but it's yeah. true. Yeah. And I, if you read a straight man a chart, watch them be gooped and gagged, gagged. scalped. Hello. Bitch. The way I wig the f out of them. <laughs> <laughs> they be sitting there just quiet as hell like, mm. you know, uh, that's not true. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, because it's right. <laughs> yeah. Because it's right. Or they genuinely are like, huh. They like think a little bit about it. And then I, I explain it further. And then they're like, oh, my God, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And on the off chance it isn't real, who cares? Who cares? Let's all have a good time. It's fun. It's fun. Listen, we are. This planet is literally about to fall apart. <laughs> That's it's what falling I'm apart saying. at the seams. Let's just enjoy what we have. We got bigger problems, you know honestly, what I'm saying? than to worry about the astrology girls. <laughs> you know? Okay. The comments on this video. So this first one says, "I feel like I could do stand-up comedy better than that." So do it. That's what I always say. And I'm like, do you? And also, when people say this stuff, I mean, you should research who you're talking about. Kate Berlant is such a, a celebrated comedian. Mm -hmm. of she, her one on one shows, that, like, she, like, literally, like, like what? Like, you you think you can do com comedy better than Kate Like, who are you? I always say, get out there then. Then do it. Do it. Show us. I mean, let's see. You have a you have a TikTok. Start doing start doing your comedy. Let's let's see how many views you get. The way it would humble these dudes so severely. Yeah. To do to tell it is not easy. They genuinely think like what it is you do in your stand up like special. For example, they think they could do the same exact thing. Oh my like, god! Let That's... me see it. Let me see. You know, I'm a, let me call Mr. Tribeca. <laughs> Hey, we have um, users four nine two seven two underscore five. Yeah, can you book him to do to do a special? Yeah, he has an hour. Okay. Yeah, you booked. Get Jim Carrey on the phone. Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Let's, let's do let's it. It's do so it. easy. It. It I, I sometimes when they say they're like, I could very easily do this. So what's stopping you? Don't let being ugly stop you. <laughs> you still do other things in life, don't you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I can do that too. Girl, child. Stop. I know. It's the same thing as like when they see female athletes and they're like, I could do that. I said that once in a video, like one of my first, my actual first video to ever go viral, I talked about like weirdly specific red flags in men. Mm -hmm. And one of them I said like, if they watch like female athletes on the TV and they're like, I could do that. Cut it off, babe. Done. Run in the other direction. I would agree with that. And also, no, you can't. You know how I know? Because you're sitting next to me <laughs> on the couch, bitch. <laughs> We're both couch coaches at that point. Yeah. yeah. I, they say that only about female athletes. Like, did you ever see that video? I think it was Serena Williams where she played like six men at once. Like all men who were like. Wait, so, so she's on one side of the. Yeah, court and she had. And she six played them. Dudes? Yeah, she played them each one at a time. Uh -huh. And then she put all of them on the same side. And then she was playing all six of them. And it was hilarious because these it. men are like, as far as I know, I don't think that they were like talking shit outwardly. That would be funny if they were. Yeah. But I think she, uh, they were just like, yeah, I think I could keep up. Like I'm a pretty athletic guy, which is the same shit in my opinion. Like it's the same dude. Yeah. And then the way that she was like only having oh, fun, not it. one drop of sweat. She's Work. just like laughing, just absolutely Work. working them out. Like they were sweaty, Ugh. exhausted, red. I, I, they're red. I love it's the red. red all over, man. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphorically and physically. Oh my God. I love that one. I, I'm going to look this up as soon as we leave. I love yeah, that. Yeah, please do. Oh, I, I, love I loved it. I was like, what a genius like idea to do. Like, yeah. get their biggest haters and have them do the same thing. Oh, I love it. I would love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> you know, because I, 
on Drag Race, you know, you do the thing and you start posting yourself and you get there's all there's always someone who has some negative shit to mm-hmm. say or oh I I could have done that challenge. I'm like, then do it. Girl, they sell this fabric <laughs> at Joanne's. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy the fabric and make the outfit in, 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 in your in your Film room. Film a self tape and let's send see it, it in. Let's, let's see, see if, if you get it. picked. It's so easy. You can do it. Let's see it. I'll see you at Hamburger Mary's <laughs> <laughs> to, to try out your very first bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> People like that are the worst. Terrible. The worst kind of warriors. Uh, this next comment says, "Women shouldn't be allowed to do stand up. None of them are funny. Maybe Sarah Silverman. That's kind of funny. The end of that comment. <laughs> Maybe her. I don't know. I don't know though." <laughs> women shouldn't be allowed to do stand up none of them are funny like I, <laughs> that's why I said what's your like degree of funny like yeah. what do you what do you think is funny yeah and also it also kills me when they take like a bit into something that like literally like it, like everyone agrees like universally that it's funny like well that wasn't funny I'm like okay well I guess we can't please you in that one joke but I mean the majority survey says like everyone <laughs> majority people like the Let's joke and think the it's funny let's ask the audience who they thought was and funnier. everyone is laughing you're yeah. trying to pick one obscure part of the about of a joke and then they try to do like the math the math to say oh it's not funny because of this I'm like girl stop the is joke it exhausting is exhausting being you? Yeah. Just going out and looking for things to complain trying about. Trying to find something to I can't relate. You know, to to, to invalidate the joke or, or why it's not funny. You're like, like sure. I'm booked and busy. I don't have time for no that. No time for that. So girl. can't relate, but <laughs> good luck with that. I think it's like, yeah, I I one of my friends who does comedy too had told me once, like, when people tell me that, I'm like, well then it's not for you. Yeah. Like my comedy is not for everyone. Yeah. Move but on. like I, I think that too, when when dudes tell me all the time they don't think I'm funny. And I'm like, well, that's because you're terrible. So my jokes are at your expense. So yeah, I wouldn't find it very funny. Either. Yeah, and you're looking at these things and be like, damn, this is this is this is me. <laughs> it's all scams. Uh, it's not funny. I don't like it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and I'll tell like really cheap jokes sometimes, like like a D's nuts joke. You know what I mean? Those hit. Those, but who, they, those hit. They okay. really hate those when you use them against them, especially if they don't see it coming. Yeah. Like I made a video about defending Tess Holiday. Once. Love Tess. I love Tess. Love Tess. Oh, she's the best. Yeah. And so I defended her and my video did really well. But the guy that I attacked, like, he, oh man, oh babe, he went off the rails. <laughs> Someone check on him. <laughs> like, he is not doing well. And it's Can been we a year. Have a, a wellness check to <laughs> user 4972 <laughs> underscore 47. And it's been a year and he's still <laughs> upset about it. So with him, like, he made a follow up. Well, he made like 15 videos about me. And then I made one more addressing all his comments because. As soon as I step in, moral police. Uh-huh. They're like, they all of a sudden look at them. They're in a white sheet, glasses, they're Gandhi. Listen, I think that's why, this is why I think this isn't healthy. <laughs> Bitch, you just called someone a fat cow, and yeah. you're, all of a sudden you're like, guys, peace and love. <laughs> peace and love. All of a sudden. And I, I like address every one of his points, and at the end I was like, you said you're all about spreading love which is a lie, but you know what you can spread? These nuts. <laughs> and someone comments on my video, they're like, I don't care what you say. Uh, if you think that last part didn't make you laugh, you're a liar. You're a liar. And it was a dude. It was a dude that didn't like me, didn't follow me. And I'm like, that's real. <laughs> He's real for that. <laughs> for being honest. I also love it because <laughs> because your nails are always popping. You always and the way just they just they just accent everything that you do in the video. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be sitting it on my phone like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and the nails like, cat, 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 I'm like, yes. I know that they're, they're very much so part of my personality. It's great. I know. I hate when people ask me like oh like how do how do you even dudes try to make this joke too which is like tell me again women aren't funny but they're like how did you she wipe probably, your ass? yeah how did she even wipe when people tell me that in person they ask me like that that head ass question in person i literally go i don't <laughs> <laughs> wipe <laughs> wipe what <laughs> you wipe your butt <laughs> and they the way they go oh my god like they think i'm walking around with shit in my ass all the time <laughs> Maybe don't ask me questions like that then. <laughs> and I'll commit. That's a bit I'll take to the grave. <laughs> They're going to be like, she told me she doesn't wipe her ass. I'm like, yeah. You know, I, used I to, did say that. I used to record like so much. I haven't in a while. But I'm, yeah. when I start again, I'm going I'm to say, I'm like, I actually don't. People ask me that too. I'm like, yeah. I don't. That's a good one. I'm wipe. Good. Like, yeah, you just immediately go, wipe. Wipe what? What are you talking about? The way you act like you, like I'm literally like a 13th century like <laughs> colonial woman. I've never heard of toilet paper. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> a commit to the bit. Love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, this last uh, comment on here, it says, perhaps she should steal some jokes because this wasn't funny. Perhaps is a, is a crazy way to start a hate comment. <laughs> like, perhaps. Perhaps. No, perhaps. <laughs> 
much. No. Perhaps. And it, what, what is, does he have a profile picture? He does. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Well, at least, well, you know what? He, tr- he he tried to start constructively. He did. So maybe that's where he got the guts to also to have a profile picture, but it just ended in some, she's just, yeah. Men yeah. like that who start comments or, like, try to sound really, really smart mm-hmm. when they're either trying to read you or, like, prove you wrong in some way. Ugh, makes my ass itch. <laughs> <laughs> I, the way I immediately turn into a caveman. <laughs> Me, no thoughts. Like, I just I just start being the most uneducated person to them because I, yeah. I refuse. Just I stop. will not engage in that with you. Yeah, I agree. I don't need to, like, prove to you I'm smart. Yeah. You can suck my ass as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> like, I just say. Well, I'm not wiping yeah. <laughs> with my long nails. That going, one. That one. Remember when you asked me that question? Yeah, that there one. That's go. for you. I, I, like, I'll, sometimes they'll write me, like, a dissertation of comments. You know, they number them, like, one. Yeah. Two, Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. The way you guys don't have a job. But then when they do that, I'll literally but um you're you're absolutely out of your mind if you think I'm reading all that. You can eat my ass. That's what I write. <laughs> my favorite thing when someone writes you like a long comment to just just comment like a three word thing back. <laughs> yeah. I love do that shit all the time, and I love it because they really get so angry that you did not give them the time and day. The Literally, time of day to go, they have to no idea them. what to do. Oh, I love it. Like, love it, it. like they write you a whole dissertation. You go, you can eat shit. Yeah. 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 Go ahead and go outside, pick up a big pile of white dog shit, and eat it. How about that? The, the albino white dog, dog shit. shit, old dog shit, babe. <laughs> Go ahead and eat that, and then you can choke. Yeah, I, I love a long comment. I'll just comment like F- off, and then yeah. they're like, <laughs> the way, I, and then they get back to writing. They get back to writing. Literally, oh, right? It. They're right back to it. writing you like it's a novel. It's so satisfying. I love it. Same. I like. I'm in moments like that. I just there's no point. Like they'll be like, oh, she can't write anything back or say anything back to me because she's not. She doesn't want the smoke or whatever. I'm like, yeah. You're just like worthless to me yeah it's That's, no point there's really no point there's no payoff for me in that yeah and i've had men be like why don't you invite me on your show so i can debate you i'm all what do you think this is high school no. you think this debate class bitch no you think this no, is girl your platform and you get and then you can talk to whoever you want to That's <laughs> on, my, on my time on my show and do that <laughs> off. no That's i was like uh no no. And then they go, why? Because I don't want to. Yeah. And it's really that simple. That simple. That's it. It's really that simple. Because I don't want to. I've had people offer, like, they offered me money to really? come on my show, babe. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't a lot of money. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's you're going to need to add a few more zeros to the end of that, babe, before I even entertain <laughs> that conversation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. It's, it's like such a desperate, I feel like, a lot of times, especially like, I'm sure too, with your platform as well. Like, if you get hate, it's like, a lot of times it's just for attention. Like they just want to, they want attention, but they also are like really hoping that they like ruffle your feathers in some way. They're like, Oh, this is going to get her. This is going to bother them so much. Yeah. They do it all the time. And, or, or or that thing, like they, they say something so hateful, so nasty. Yeah. And then you comment back. They're like, Oh no, just kidding. I love you. I love you. I love you. I was like, you know, you don't. And I don't don't want that kind of love. Yeah. I was like, again, go to better help slash rivalry. Cause you need to talk to someone. (laughs) If that's how you show love is like this crazy ass comment. Work on it. Yeah. You need to work on that. That's not good for you. Do something. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I think too, like, for me, I don't like obviously I don't drag women. And I've said that before. I'm like, I don't drag women the same way I drag men. Um, which like lucky y'all. But like <laughs> I was like, I just I have no interest in doing that. I'm I'm yeah. focusing on the men and the men only. And I think sometimes they take advantage of that because mm. they know that I do that. Yeah. Cause it's pick me season right now. You know pick me girls? No. Oh, a pick me girl. Oh, let's get into it. A pick me girl. Tell me, tell me. Is essentially a, a woman who lives for the male validation. So she oh. like everything she does is to be validated by a man, by a even man. if it means like selling herself down the river kind of thing. So uh-huh. she like shits on other women. She like is just she's essentially a misogynist. A lot of internalized misogyny. Just yeah. like it's not the same, but it's like in the same neighborhood as like internalized racism. Like yeah. people are racist towards their own people. Yeah. It's like the calls coming from inside the house kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So they call them pick me girls because pick, pick me, me girls, pick me. Pick me. Got it. They're okay. like pick me. I'm like pick me, skip me, bitch. <laughs> like I talked about multiple times. I'm like I if a man never talked to me again, it would be too soon. <laughs> it really would. Because <laughs> like um, people like me, for example, like as like a cis straight woman, like I don't give a shit about male attention or validation. Yeah. Which is why it doesn't bother me when men call me a fat bitch every single day mm-hmm. because I, it doesn't mean anything to me. Yeah, it means nothing. So like it's like trying to free women from like the desire to like 
you know, because some men like genuinely, even though they're, they say they're not attracted to you, if you don't care about them, they're offended. Oh, for sure. They're because like, they, st- they still crave that. They want that attention from you. Yeah. Even, even though they say you're ugly, I don't like this, you're fat, <laughs> you're whatever. They still they still want that. Yeah. And it's 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 very like it's such a strange like line of thinking. I don't understand it at all. But yeah. like. The pick me girls, it's like pick me season for me right now. I don't know what it is, but I have so many women like making videos trying to ride my dick for views, essentially. Damn. Yeah, and I'm like, how's this challenge? Try to go viral without putting my name in the title. <laughs> <laughs> like, how about that, bitch? Like, <laughs> okay, have you ever had the thing where it's one of these dudes that you dragged yeah. and their like girlfriend or like sister or, so- or someone tra- tra- tries to come at you? Yeah, actually, only once. Okay. Um, it was on Twitter, and I had posted a picture of me, like, just to be honest, looking fantastic. <laughs> I looked great. <laughs> my hair and my makeup artist, he really did the damn thing. <laughs> but, like, some some men, because their pee-pee wiggled when they saw it, were like, this is Photoshop. <laughs> so then I posted a, then I po- posted a video, and I'm like, Photoshop where, bitch? Tell your girl I'm looking for her. <laughs> Anyways, so then uh, this guy, like, retweeted, or... He, he tweeted me my own picture. Like, I posted a picture of myself on uh-huh. my Instagram. He tweeted me my own picture and was like, this you? Like, one of those? And I go, yeah. Any other questions? Like, <laughs> is that it? <laughs> like, and I was like, I feel like you guys don't get that this the, this you thing is like, it's supposed to be a picture where you're unsuspecting. Yeah. Like, someone else took it of you. It's like an unflattering picture. I looked really cute in the pic. So I'm like, I don't get the point sometimes i genuinely <laughs> think that some straight dudes yeah are f- stupid <laughs> like there's just no other way i'm like do you not get the do you not get the, the, the again to the point it's, 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 it doesn't even make sense to even argue with that person because no, you, you do not possess the the intellectual intelligence mm-hmm. that it takes to even this not it's not even fun for me anymore because now really you're not. so stupid i just look like i just i'm wasting my time i was like you hoes can't keep up you can't keep and up it simply is what it is i can't and that that guy like did that and i was like yeah that is me do you have any other questions <laughs> for me before i leave or and then he was like he had no pictures of himself uh-huh. at least i thought so Ooh. so then i went and looked and i found a picture of him bitch when i tell you <laughs> <laughs> when i tell you that this man for sure worked at a food for less like there's just no way there's no way he didn't like balding as all hell like mm. like truly the most unattractive person i've ever seen in my life and i found the picture and i tweeted it to him and i said there's no way you want to talk about looks. <laughs> there's no way bitch and then his girl like got in the mix like but I didn't know that they were together, like, because she was just, like, she started attacking me, calling me, like, fan ugly. And I said, you know, pick me isms aren't cute. Yeah. And then uh, someone else, like, my followers are, like, sleuths. The way that they're, like, CIA agents, they go and find all this information. She goes, girl, that's literally his girlfriend. I found, like, pictures of them together. <laughs> and then she was, like, uh, she was still sticking to her shit about calling me fan ugly. And then I said, um... Uh, you're right. I'm so fat and ugly that your man spends his free time looking at me. Take it up with him, bitch. Like he's the like, fact. Yeah. <laughs> he has pictures of me saved to his phone, uh-huh. and you want to get mad at me? Come on, come at me, babe. Look, these these like deep dive TikToks. <laughs> when people do that, they were like, "Oh, I see you said this comment," and they. The sleuthing skills, they they find out where you worked, where you lived, <laughs> Truly. Uh, what your what what your blood type is. It, it's like it's like it's really remarkable how people yeah. are so good at the internet. Yeah, I, like one time I this guy wrote this like awful awful rancid racist thing about me on Instagram and tagged me in it. So naturally I reposted it, mm-hmm. and then I made fun of what he looked like, <laughs> and then someone messaged me and was like, "Girl, this guy's in a bad mood because." He broke up with his girlfriend like a year ago. She has no idea who this is. She just went and looked and found all this information. She's like, he was, he, she was with this, he was with this girl. Now she's with a new gym guy who looks even better than he does. And today's her birthday. That's literally why he's in a Work. bad mood. And I said, "Work my pussy bitch, girl." Like, like, just, girl. I screenshot it and put it in my story, and I was like, "Damn." Honestly, we need to <laughs> hire these Gen Z TikTokers for no, the CIA. Actually, like, the CIA should be plucking Gen Zers to go literally. into service for them the way that no the way that you need them like we need them they should be like undercover cops honestly 
I mean, 12, but like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, like under just like CIA operatives, oh, the yeah. way that they work. For sure. I don't know how they it's find shit good. like that. It's very good. The shit they send me, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. How did you find that? And they're like, oh, I just went looking. <laughs> well, you, you, they've been using technology since they were like two. No, literally. You know what I mean? They, they've had, my, 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 I have a little, a little nephew and he's mm -hmm. like five. When I tell you, he is like Wade from Kim Possible, just <laughs> on his iPad. It's just, I'm like eyes looking both directions. Girl, I'm like how? <laughs> it's so impressive. I I know really the good. way it's advanced. What was your first social media? Site? My first social media. Oh my god, it was um, it was in high school. It yeah. was Sconex. Do you remember Sconex? No. You know, you probably you're, you're way younger than me. I'm 27. I'm I'm, I'm 32. Okay, we're not that far. Sconex, yeah, for five years. Sconex was like it was like before Facebook. Oh, and it, okay. And it was why it was it was our the interface was like orange and orange and black and white. <laughs> um similar to Adam for Adam, which was um uh, a little gay networking site. <laughs> I, I know about that. You know, one. Adam for Adam. I've heard about that. They, yeah. they, they were around the same time. Okay, but Sponics, okay. like fell off. It was only all around for like two years. Yeah. And like it was in I would go on it in um on the in the in the in the computer lab. Yeah. But then like a week after Scornex got popping, they put that thing where you they would block certain certain they oh. put it on, the, on the block list, <laughs> and then but I had some like mainframe kid in in in, 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 in chemistry class and he like hacked the system, so everybody would try to get Jerome to come to to, to come to our six period computer class so he could put it to hack in the mainframe so we could all go in Scornex. It was a girl, it was crazy. But Scornex was my first one. What was yours? MySpace. MySpace. Yeah, for sure, MySpace. Mm. I think I was like, well, first off. I wasn't like my mom was like very good about keeping us off the internet mm. as long as she could, and then when we got to a certain point, she's like, "I'm gonna monitor it." Uh -huh. So like, be careful. And we're like, "Okay, sounds good." When I first got it, I was like, "Ooh!" But the way that MySpace, you would like code. Yeah, like you like you worked like you're a yes. Facebook engineer. Like yes. I'm in there. Like my sister was like a master at coding. Like she could literally teach me how to change the backgrounds and like Crazy. make shit oh move. My God, MySpace. Got my MySpace. So creative. Do you know MySpace is still around? Yes, I do. Yeah. I wish I could look at my old MySpace. I would like to too. I did have a MySpace, but again with the coding thing, I was not good at it, and I didn't have any <laughs> friends that were good at it either because we were all musicians. We were not smart at all. <laughs> <laughs> None of us could do it, so I was like, "Girl, I, I I can." And then I got into Facebook, but yeah, MySpace, yeah, yeah. It was really you had to know your shit to like have a good MySpace. That's what I'm saying. My yeah. sister was really good at it. I think that's the only reason I was good at it, honestly. And then I think when MySpace kind of fell off was obviously when Facebook became a thing. I got my Instagram hella late though. I think well, like for the time, I think I didn't get it till like 2009. Which I it felt late. Yeah, I don't remember when I got mine, but it was back. It was back in in the Instagram when everybody was like, it was like thirty two hashtags every post, <laughs> and everyone was po always posting food. It was like always I like know. food shots or like sepia black and white pictures or like legs at the beach. Legs at the beach. Hot dogs or or legs. Have you, do you remember that? <laughs> no, what's that legs? one? Oh my god, girl! You know how like they take pictures like this with uh, their knees? Uh huh. And there was like a trend. There were like hot dogs or legs. You don't remember that? <laughs> Does anyone remember hot dogs or legs? Hot dogs or legs? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they literally, people would take pictures of, of like hot dogs, like just the ends of them like this. Oh my like, God. And at the beach and they'd be like hot dogs or legs. Word. And then people would be like legs and they'd be like, no, hot dogs. Oh, can we bring that back? Bring it back. Bring back the hot dogs or legs trend. <laughs> I love that. Bring her back. You know what? I'm going to work that into my stand-up. <laughs> what about hot dogs or Listen, legs? I really, you, Drew, you need to get into stand I just You just take a little sabbatical. Mm -hmm. And you like write you has first of all you have so much good material already you can you can easily write an hour oh. and I'm whatever the dates get announced I'm coming <laughs> if I ever so do I'm literally gonna ask you for help please advice I, I would love to from a to. from a pro yes literally thank you doll yes. <laughs> oh I'm so excited that you were here and we got to have a good time good this Kiki so good. I'm so happy I to be here. literally so love you love you you're so you. fucking funny this was great. <laughs> I would best. come back anytime. I loved it. Thank you so much to Monet Exchange for joining me on this episode of the comment section. Where can everybody find you? I am Monet Exchange on all platforms. Um, M O N E T, the letter X, the word change. You're on everywhere. Only TikTok, because someone has my Monet Exchange, because I, I was a late TikToker. Oh, okay. Not late. And then, so I'm the Monet Exchange on TikTok, where everyone else is just Monet Exchange. Period. And yeah. what else do you have coming out that Ooh. you're excited to tell everyone about? Well, you know, I had a sibling rivalry tour, myself and Bob the Drag Queen. Love. Um, I have uh, my stand up special coming out very soon. And um, I have um, some two other things that are. 
Oh, I'm, I'm, do, I'm singing with the Minnesota Opera. Oh my um, I'm God. doing um, um, the Flying Dutchman there. And I'm How singing with cool. the, San, the San Francisco Symphony this, 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 this Christmas. So look out for that. You're a busy bitch. Thank you. I love thank it. You, thank you, thank so you. happy for you. Everyone, please, please, please go follow Monet on literally everything and buy tickets to all her shows. Please. You're the best. Thank you. Thank love you, you. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of the Comment Section Show. If you want to catch full episodes, you can catch them on Spotify. They are available to stream now. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you next week. Bye.